gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, and welcome to MDM Wednesday Night Massacre pre-show. Yes, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have an incredible match for our pre-show tonight. It is going to be incredible as we have Eddie, um, Eric Young will be taking on Homicide in our um, our pre-show match here tonight. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about last week's episode of MDM Wednesday Night Massacre. As you know, I am the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. We will talk about that uh, in the coming uh, here tonight on the pre-show. But ladies and gentlemen, I can't do the pre-show here without tonight. My guest, my buddy, Billy Bob. <laughs> too bad. Oh, uh, uh, it's in the oxygen tank. Yeah. Uh, let me click on my oxygen tank. It's over here somewhere. Get your oh. oxygen. Uh, can I have some of that? Whoa. I got dizzy. Whoa. You ever get up when you're dizzy? Ooh. I, I, I oh, need to do an oxygen tank there. Give me some. Uh, okay. Anyway. Anyway. Right, anyway. I was going to say, I found out Eric Young was on a pre-show match again with we all know Eric Young's always on pre-show matches, but I don't know right. why. But, you know, maybe he has to do the match. That way he can produce the rest of the show later in the, in episode two. I don't know. But anyway, in honor of Eric Young tonight, it's shirt of the night. World-class maniac for Eric Young. There nice. Goes. The world-class producer right here on uh, MDM. But, Michael, I want to say congratulations to you, my friend, on winning the number one contenders match last week on MDM, the debut of Wednesday Night Massacre. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I mean, scars and flat, flat back greasy. Uh, I guess he had to take a seat to watch me beat up uh, scars and then go for one, two, three. But uh, flat back, you made a bad choice. Well, yeah, he sure did. But Michael, I got, I, I just got to say to you, I, I, I don't know what to do here because I'm Big Bubba's client and you're facing yep. my client for the MDM World Championship. I mean, you're my buddy there and I, I just don't know what, I don't know what to do. What what do you want me to do? I got to be in his corner. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know, but 
I don't know what to do, but we got a big announcement on the on the commentator for that match. So uh, we stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen, later in this pre-show. But well, let's go ahead and start off what, what happened on the debut episode of Wednesday Night Massacre. If you haven't seen it, go on our YouTube and check it out because you missed a great, great debut episode of Wednesday Night Massacre. But, Michael, we had a match number one, which was shocking here. We had the whoever won advances to the main event to face my client, Big Bubba, and Mad Dog Neely for the MDM World Tag Team Championships. So we had the insiders of Mace and Mansoor uh, taking on the team of Outlaw Country from TWF and EO, uh, EO, GRW or something like that. I guess. I, I, I mean, I don't know. But anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh at the beginning of the match, before the bell even rung, Mason Mansoor attacked Outlaw Country. Your thoughts, Michael? That that's dumb. I just I don't like Mason Mansoor. I just don't like them whatsoever. I know Flatback does. I know Travis, the owner, does. But I just don't like them. They suck. They're a bunch of idiot models that got released from WWE and come in here. Oh God, please help us all. Exactly. I, I mean, and unfortunately, they beat Outlaw Country in a main event because Outlaw Country was already beat down. They weren't 100% going into this match. Right. I mean, so anyway, we move on. It was a number one contender match. We done talked about it a little bit here. Michael. You were you won this match to face Big Bubba at Underground, the first ever pay-per-view for Mayday Massacre, and it's going to be live from London, England. Uh. But Michael, you speared Michael Scarface, and this, this this is twice that this has happened in a row. You speared him, and the chair went flying up in the air. Like always, I mean, Scars, you got to stop with that steel chair. I know it's a triple threat, no disqualification, but you keep with that chair, and I swear you watching that chair go flying up in the air, he, I already know you were going to fail. Yeah, exactly. I mean, any any final thoughts on your on your win there? Congratulations. Well, all Let's I got to say is, Big, Big Bubba, get ready, because I all I got to do is hit that one spear. What's your also results, Michael, on going into this match, having to get on a plane and head over to the UK oh. in London to to be in this match? Man, I gotta fly all the way to Fatback Greasy's home country. Oh God. Well, also, Michael, did you hear on 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 the on that episode? My big Greasy was not happy. Did you hear about that? He issued a challenge to the Judgment Day. Oh, my God. Fatback, you're going to get destroyed by uh, Judgment Day. They have the undisputed tag team titles. They have the Money in the Bank briefcase. They've got the, NW, the NXT North American Championship and the World's Women's Championship. I don't even think you're ready. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen there. Well, I guess we'll... I mean, it's not even official yet. We don't know if the Judgment Day is going to even accept the match yet. I guess we'll find out next week. I, I, I guess I don't know if it. I, I don't think we don't. There's there's nothing happening on my uh on my sheets here saying anything's happening or if official tonight. So stay tuned next week on that issue. But we move on to match number three, Michael. That happened. It was the Mayday Massacre Intercontinental Championship. These two uh, wrestlers in Mayday Massacre has had the feud since Mayday Massacre weekend. Is Johnny B. Good defending his newly Intercontinental Championship that he won from the American Heart Throb in that steel cage match from Mayday Massacre weekend, Michael? And so I mean, he saw ring was a lot better, not soft, like that was right exactly so he's defending against the american heartthrob in this last man standing match 
but it didn't turn out too good for the uh, Johnny B. Good because the American heartthrob beat him, and he's now a two-time Intercontinental Champion. Oh man, I, I mean, I I love this uh, this feud between the two. I hope it continues. Um, uh, hopefully, they have a grudge match at um, Underground. It'd be really cool to see it. Um, maybe they can, maybe MDM can start a best of seven series with these two, and then have the final match at a at a, um another pay per view or you know this would be really cool to see. Yeah, exactly. I 100% agree with that. They're tied one apiece. They are. They sure are. Can't wait to find out what happens next in that feud between Johnny B. Good and the American Heartthrob. We move on to match number four, which I did not like this, Michael. I did not like this. I was mad about it. It was about a royal to crown a brand new Mayday Masker Women's oh. Champion because all the controversy uh, Big Bertha was stripped of that women's championship after what happened at Mayday Master Pro Weekend when uh, Big Bertha and uh, what was the other lady's name? I don't forgot. But oh, me neither. Anyway, yeah. uh, Bertha Faye, or was that it? Big Bertha and Bertha Faye? Big Bertha and some old mama? or oh, Yeah, old, old mama. Old mama, yeah, that's it. They had a big fight, and they so... Board of directors like, hey, we're stripping the title. No more, y'all, y'all fired. You know that's what happened. Yep. So I wasn't too happy about this battle royal, Michael, because at the end, at the end, Michael, Chelsea Diamond got eliminated by stupid flatbed greasy girlfriend Alana Hayes. I mean, if it wasn't for stupid Baker got involved there at the, as the third person that got eliminated before it was Chelsea, and because Chelsea got distracted after the after she eliminated Baker, and it's like, come on, man, I'm mad about it. I'm I was so mad about that, Michael. But Alana Hayes, your brand new Mayday Masker Women's Champion, I'm not happy about it, Michael. Your thoughts. I gotta say my thoughts. Yeah, I wouldn't be happy either. I mean, now the Greasy Revolution has all the gold. They've got um, MDM championships. They've got well, only the women's title. They've got the um, they got the GRW title, women's title. They've got every single title that those women on their team hold. And Queen Fat back in Adrenaline Underground. Yeah, exactly. So we move on to our MDM exclusive championship match. And it was Dalton Quinn versus Demetria versus who was the other guy? Uh, Michael. Uh, I think it was Dementia. Randy Diamond. Randy yep. Diamond. I got that. Eric Young just told me my earpiece. Uh, Randy Diamond and uh, Dalton Quinn came out victorious in the triple threat match. I thought Dementia was probably going to win it because he was the one of the biggest scary guys in the match. But Dalton Quinn got out of it, and he's your brand new MDM exclusive champion. And and uh, Willie Joe was on commentary during this match. He wasn't happy because he is your uh, Impact Wrestling slams on exclusive champion. And so there was an announcement, Michael. I don't know if you heard about it, but Willie Joe versus uh, Dalton Quinn, if he makes it as champion until underground, is going to be a, uh, a unification match. Yeah, I can't wait to see that match. Um, Willie Joe challenging the champion because remember, Willie Joe is the current Impact Wrestling Fan Zone exclusive champion, which was basically dead now because the show's de uh, dead now. Now we're move over to Mayday Massacre. Now he'll get a unification ladder match at the pay per view. Um, I cannot wait to see that. And I don't know if you did. I don't know if we saw the debut episode, ladies and gentlemen, but we had a, a new segment. Apparently now we have a control center uh, with um, Daryl Waltrip. I, I that, that's kind of weird to see him doing um, stuff to give you guys matches for this upcoming pay per view. I 
I've been getting word that after episode three, I'm, I'm guessing Dalton Cass or Dalton um, Darrell Waltrip is going to um, come up with. He's got another show called Countdown to Underground after episode three. So uh, stay tuned to this channel. I, I, he's been getting prepared and ready to go for it. Oh, I can't wait for that, ladies and gentlemen. Daryl Walter, man. I, I heard he signed an exclusive deal at Mayday Massacre. Right? Oh, God. Oh, man. And every time he's got to end it, I got to go take a poo. Like, oh, God. Right? I, I, I'm like, does he got medicine for that? I mean, seriously. Right? I mean, like, he must got the runs real bad there, Michael. But anyway. Oh, so we got to go on into our main event here. I was not happy about it, ladies and gentlemen. It was for the Mayday Massacre Tag Team Championships. Oh. It was Bad Dog Neely and my clients, Big Bubba, and they were defending their titles against the Insiders who advanced from the first match here tonight. Or not tonight, last week. I'm, I'm getting confused. But last week. And, uh, yeah, and a big shocking to the world of uh, – Pro wrestling here. It was the insiders shockingly beat my clients, Big Bubba and Mad Dog Neely, and is your brand new Mayday Massacre World Tag Team Champions. I'm not happy about it, Mason Mansour. Your thoughts on them winning the Tag Team Champions there, Michael? Yeah, I'm not happy to. I, I didn't want to see them as the Tag Champions. Now we have them as the Tag Champions. Now it's I, w I was cheering for Big Bubba and um, um, Mad Dog Neely to retain the titles, but apparently now they're not longer the champions. So I had to throw my chair across the room. And I was kind of mad about it. Yeah, and you was actually shocked at the end of the episode last week when I was so mad about it that I announced that I'm coming out of the co out of commentary booth, coming out of retirement, and I challenged Dijak to a match yep. at Underground. Oh, yeah. I, I don't even know if you're ready for a feast your eye. Uh, that move is the most devastating move. That might hurt your, that might uh, break your oval, bo your oval bone in your eye. So I would be careful because he, when he hits that, it could be game over. No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to knock him out there, Michael. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going I'm going to show the insiders that Billy Bob is the best. That's what I'm going to tell. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to make a man there. I'm going to make a man and maybe I can get a rematch for the tag titles. We'll have to wait and see. Well, we'll have to, Michael. But let's go on into the preview for tonight's episode. It's going to be a can't miss episode. The pre-show match Michael just announced it at the top of the show. Eric Young taking on the return of Homicide, or the debut of Homicide, if you want to say, in Mayday Massacre. We ain't seen Homicide in, in months, Michael. Mm, yeah, we haven't seen him in months. I, I'm surprised we haven't seen Hernandez. If you guys don't know, he's the current uh, Mexican world champion. Uh, we haven't seen him in, uh, in decades. I've been hearing that he's been creating a new Mexican title. Oh, wow. So my debut soon here on Mayday Master. Then I can't wait for that. But Michael, your thoughts on on this pre-show match? Are you ready for it? Who do you think? Who you think? Well, we well, we'll go ahead and give our predictions later before the match is, and just a little bit at the end of this pre-show. But let's go into the night's matches. We will not give our predictions here because we'll give our predictions during at the top of the hour for this show. Uh, first match here tonight, winner faces the MDM Women's Champion on the aftermath of Underground. I, 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 I got the match official here, Michael. It's going to be my girl, Chelsea Diamond, taking on Baker. What do you think of that? Oh, that's going to be that's going to be a good match. Um, Baker Burnstorm, ladies and gentlemen, a um, exclusive and have been signed to TWF Tuesday night. Um, chaos um they're gonna she's gonna be uh, she's gonna be a non-stop brutal um submission specialist but we'll have to see how that all goes down can um chelsea diamond hit the the diamond the diamond stud submission that she does 
You know that's going to happen, Michael. You know she's going to go on to the aftermath of underground. Oh, what, 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 what's going on, Eric? Eric, what, what? Are you serious, Michael? Are you are you getting this from Eric Young? Mm. Are, Eric, are you the match? This is a it's a match here. What is Flatmate Greasy saying? Uh, you want me to ask? Uh, all right. All right, all right, Eric. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got late breaking news here. We have a match, and Flatbed Greasy is going to come out here tonight for a Greasy Revolution open challenge. Oh boy! So, what is this about? What? What? I mean, what? What is? I this? guess they're trying to prove to Judgment Day that they that they want them really bad at. Um, at underground, so I can't wait to see who his challengers are. That would be that's that's I can't wait for that. Also, our third match of the evening is gonna be the American Heartthrob renewing a feud from Mayday Master Pro Wrestling Weekend, and he's gonna take on his used to be friend of Mad Dog Neely. Ooh, that one's gonna be a good match. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens there. Uh uh, cannot wait to see it. Can't wait for that as well. Our fourth match tonight is for the MDM exclusive champion. Dalton Quinn defends against Randy Diamond because Randy Diamond was upset after that triple threat match. So he's getting his one-on-one -on -one shot here tonight, Michael. Yeah, I cannot wait. The exclusive championship, ladies and gentlemen, in MDM. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Dalton Quinn, he's going to get his shot. Our um, Randy Diamond's going to get a shot at the title at the champ here tonight. Can he win it um, and become our second uh, exclusive champion? Or will Dalton Quinn retain uh, the title? Exactly. And for those who missed it at the end of last week's episode, I announced that I was coming out of retirement at Underground, but that's not all. I'm coming out of retirement early because. It's going to be we re reuniting a tag team. It was me and Michael Miner here agreed that we're going to be a tag team once again, and we're going to take on the insiders of Dijak and Mace. Oh, yeah. Can I wait to be crap out of all of them? That's right. So, Michael. What, what what you what, you got you got plans? You're going to tell me how our strategy is going to be for later tonight in the main event? All we're just going to do is beat the crap out of both of them. Yeah, uh, I agree. Soften, soften up Dijak for you for underground, and uh, show myself to Big Bubbo that I'm going to become the world champ. Exactly. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't miss that incredible big. Main event tag match. It's going to be epic here tonight, but that's not all. We got to get to the pre-show match right now. Eric Young, he's not in the production truck, Michael, anymore. So we got to go on to our pre-show match, but we got to hit a commercial. We got to keep this show on the road there, Michael. So we got to go to a commercial, and we're going to let you take it away there, Michael, because I heard... It's a commercial about gaming slams on. Take it away, Michael Miner. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, gaming slam zone 34. Ladies and gentlemen, come and check out the channel, uh, youtube.com slash at uh, gaming slam zone 34. We have so much, a lot of good stuff. We got reviews, uh, prediction shows, uh, DVD um, updates. As you guys know, I just got some few more. Um, DVD covers for my upcoming DVDs that I'll be doing. Uh, so that'll be coming out soon and much, much more. So come out to Gaming Slam Zone 34 on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe.
an awesome commercial from Gaming Slam Zone. Make sure you go and subscribe to them for some awesome, awesome content. And don't forget to subscribe to TWF Network as well. We'll have a commercial for TWF Network on our main show on Wednesday night, Massacre Episode 2, when we're at the top of the hour. But let's go ahead and get into this pre-show match. Eric Young taking on Homicide. Michael Miner, your prediction uh, on who you think is going to walk out of Mayday Massacre, Wednesday Night Massacre, pre-show episode two. I got I got to say, when we saw the first uh, episode, the first pre-show, uh, Eric Young came out with a good win. Um, I guess he's going to win this one again again uh, to get his momentum. I've been hearing some, some rumors that uh, the pre-show is going to get a championship pretty soon. Uh, so that's going to be coming up pretty soon. Maybe they'll have a match at the pre-show for the pay-per-view. Uh, so we'll have to see how Eric Young does here tonight against Homicide. Homicide, a former TNA um, World Tag Team Champion and also a former TNA um, X Division Champion. Uh, so cannot wait to see how he does here tonight. Exactly. But who do you predict to walk out of here? Uh, Got to go with Eric. I got to go with Eric Young to keep that momentum going into underground to see if he's going to get a future match, maybe for the title. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Exactly, because, you know, you know, last on our last episode, on our pre-show last week, Eric Young broke his streak and won. Yep. He beat Tyler Breeze. Oh, man, that's that, that was epic against Tyler Breeze. Yeah, that was our, one of the pre-show. We forgot to talk about that match. Let's let's go ahead and talk about it really quickly. Your thoughts, Tyler Breeze in Wednesday Night Massacre. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Uh, if you guys don't know, Tyler Breeze is also part of, he is known as Prince Pretty on the Battle of the Brands. If you guys go go check out Up, Up, Down, Down on YouTube with Austin Creed and Prince Pretty doing an old school WCW Monday Nitro versus Monday Night Raw, an old um, rivalry Monday Night Wars type uh, deal. Um, they're getting close to the ending pretty soon. So, guys, go check that out. I've got it on my watch later. So, I'll be watching some more later tonight. Exactly. In my prediction here, I'm going with uh, Eric Young here as well to walk out of here victorious because you know he's. He, he's, he might be eyeing for that rumored championship that we're yep. uh, hearing about. So, but let's go ahead and get to the uh, live to the arena. Let's get it started for the pre show for Wednesday Night Massacre episode. And Michael two. Champ, take it away with the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this pre show match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, making his way to the ring. The maniac himself, Eric Young. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Eric Young broke his streak last week uh, against Tyler Breeze. I thought Tyler Breeze was going to win that match, but here tonight, whoa, hello. Uh, Eric Eric Young is ready to go. He is like, we just pretty much can ground a free show champ here tonight, but I like his mask here tonight. Yeah, exactly. I, it's a pretty cool looking mask there, Michael. Oh yeah. He's ready. He's ready for some action here tonight. You know, he's the pre-show king, uh, if you want to call it. But he he lost a lot of pre-show matches back in the day in Impact Wrestling Slam. Right. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe in the near future, if, if he can win some good matches, he could uh, get into the main roster. Uh, and win some title matches there in the main roster. I mean, we got the exclusive title. He, uh, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent. He is a member of LAX Homicide. Homicide, ladies and gentlemen, 5150. He's been all over the world in so many indie companies Ring of Honor, TNA, uh, GCW, IWA. Um, there's a lot of companies out there that he's been a part of uh, and wrestling for. Some of them are like um, extreme wrestling type promotions. So I uh, can't wait to see how he does here tonight at MDM. Exactly. Me too as well. And Michael, I don't know if you noticed, but 
Wednesday Night Massacre went to a bigger arena this week, and we don't have the Eclipse here tonight. Oh, yeah. I, I love the new arena here tonight. Wild wow, Arena looks a lot bigger. It sure does. I mean, there you know, Daryl Walter said there was an eclipse there last week. Creepy. Yeah, right, here we go. Oh, oh the creepy referee. Yeah. And All right, Eric Young here. Oh, and Homicide with a new car bomb there. Sure did. Eric Young, I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I must be having some technical difficulties here tonight. Oh, oh. almost got a super kick right to the face by Eric Young. Throws him in the oh. corner. And, ooh. That ooh, look Homicide with a nice. Oh, nice same time from Homicide. But look at all the stomp in here. Ooh, big kick to the face from Homicide to Eric Young. I was going to try to wrench on that arm. Ooh. Oh, he was trying to break the hand, the fingers there of Eric Young, Michael. Yeah. Oh, no, he's going Look for a cross. Look at this. Going for a crippler cross face. Trying to get a submission here early. You try to win, but no, Eric Young reverses it. Goes into the corner there. Oh, oh. Ooh. Trying to go for a spear, but he missed. And I was I was going to go for that cannonball, but... He missed. Eric oh, with a drop kick to the side of the head. That was one wicked drop kick. He could have knocked Homicide out. Right? Oh. Homicide with that super kick to the face. Homicide now just stomping on Eric Young here tonight. Not going to go for that pin one. And no, one count. Oh, we got Look it at this. Roll up. Schoolboy, on and go. Kick that out creepy, of one. That creepy ref there goes a little too slow. Yeah, I know. I hate this creepy ref. I heard there's rumors, Michael, at Underground we could have a uh, women's referee. That'd be good. Exactly. Oh, Eric Young. Eric Young. Ooh. Nice kick to the chest. Oh! Had a nice spinning drop kick there right to the face of Homicide. And homicide, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget he was a former NWA junior heavyweight champion. Uh, he lost the match against Ke uh, Kerry Morton. Oh, a nice splash. And also, Michael, let's not forget that Eric Young and Homicide has had feuds back in the day in TNA wrestling when it was Team Canada versus LA. Yes, it was. And look at that. Oh, a nice driver there. Eric oh, Young gets wow. up, throws him in the corner. Oh, he finally got it. And now into another spear into the corner. Oh, nice attack wow. into the corner. Nice kick. And what is Eric Young doing? Way drop onto the apron. That didn't look good there for Homicide. Oh, it does. Oh, Eric Young with a nice backflip there. Oh, oh another one. Schoolboy, one and no, a kick out at one from Homicide. Oh, oh nice oh. drop kick. Uh oh, Eric Young trying to get into his um into his um uh, hip his uh, move there, but no, another schoolboy, one kick out at one. Production went full screen. Thank you, production. Yes, uh oh, oh, kill, oh, uh, green go killer. That's it. That's got to be it. One, two, two, and no. He got that two and a half. Homicide hitting that gringo killer. He almost had to win there. Oh. Ooh, nice move there. Sorry, nice sorry, plan. fans. This is an AEW. Because I'm hearing the fans saying fight forever. Yeah, it sure ain't AEW. Oh, this nice oh. move from Homicide. What's Homicide going to do here? I don't... What? Homicide having a little glitch issue there. Oh! oh Ooh, no. Nice punch there. Oh! Homicide with a nice toss over. And a drop kick. Could that be it? One, two, and a kick out at two. Homicide's like, he's bus riding my... Uh oh Homicide going to go for that Gringo Killer again. Oh, got him wow. up in the air for a gringo killer. Oh! And it connects. That's that got to be it, but I think it's too close. 
on. Two. Two. Oh. Two, and two and a half. I thought that was it, Michael. He could have broke Eric Young's neck. Right? Eric Young trying to fight back here. Look at this nice bridge. Eric Young. Eric Young was trying to pick him up, but he missed. Oh, look at DDT. He's just trying to go for that temple. Oh, he was trying to go for a submission to the leg, but Homicide said no. Nice kickoff. Oh, no. Eric Young is now busted open. Oh. Oh. Oh, Homicide trying to bust open more that, that wound. The Eric side Young. of the eye, and Eric Young rolls out of the ring here. We might, we might need Homicide! Oh, and he missed. Oh, my goodness. Homicide tried to go for a suicidal dive, and he missed. Well, I guess you can't be made a master without blood. Right? Oh, Eric Young gets back in the ring. Oh, nice throw over. Oh. And a spinning leg drop. Could that be it? But it's put on the rope. Oh. What? Yeah, it's under the ropes there. Oh, Look at this. Eric's telling him, you stay down. These two don't yeah. like each other, Michael. Eric, God, what a nice throw over. Yes, Eric Young trying to go wrenching on that head. He's got that's that vice grip. Yep, nice vice grip there. Look at this, Eric Young trying to drag him into the middle so he can pin him in the middle of the ring here. What's he trying? Oh, nope. Too late there. There's a sign that grabbed, that, that sign said, This is awesome. Oh! Oh, a nice clothesline from Homicide. Yes, it is. Look at this, Homicide. Picks him up. Oh, Homicide going for a nice, oh, DDT right on the forehead. Oh, man, that had to hurt. And Eric Young, uh-oh. Homicide getting his combo in. He sure did there, Michael. Eric Young ain't looking too good right now. No, because he is pretty badly busted open. You can see the side of his forehead. Oh, what is Homicide going for? Oh, never mind. Uh oh, 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 oh nice oh, big, oh. nice world's strongest slam. What is he going for? Uh oh, he's got a steel chair. He's like, nope, can't get it in the ring because Homicide's up against the ropes there. And remember, and no disqualifications here in Mayday Mass. Oh, nice slam there. Oh, Young just dragging him to the middle of the ring. Gonna go for the pin here. Or wait, what is he trying to look for? It picks him up. Pile Go hit that pile driver. Well, Eric Young, pile driver. Oh, that's it. That's it, Michael. That's it. It's over. Count it. One, oh, two, two, and no. What? One and a half. How does he kick out from the Eric Young pile driver? Now, look at this. Eric Young going right for the oh. forehead, and now homicide is busted open. Oh, no. No, oh, no, 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 no. no. Eric Young with that steel chair. Oh, he, oh, he was going to try to crack his oh, head open. Oh. oh, and Homicide throws that chair out of his way. Oh, oh belly, belly. belly. The belly suplex. Is that it? One, One two, no. You got to be kidding me, Mike. Eric Young is pissed. He's like, come on. You're it. As the fans are saying, holy crap, uh-oh, Eric Young going to go for that pile driver again. No, reversal. What is this? Homicide picks him oh. up for a, what looks like a falcon arrow. Uh-oh, Ringo Killer. He can get this, Michael. Going to hit the third one. No. What is that? That's it? a pile driver. Did he just steal that from Stars? I think he did. No Stars, way. Package, pile driver one. Two, three, and Homicide wins it. What? Michael Minor, we got a shocker of the night here on the pre-show. What just happened? Eric Young had that pile driver that fell in the for Homicide. <laughs> what 
Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Homicide. Homicide taking a page out of Michael Scars' book, hitting him with that package pile driver. What a victory. Wow, that was a crazy, crazy, crazy pre-show match. I'm shocked that Eric Young lost, Michael. Right? And I'm like, Homicide is debuting Wednesday Night Massacre. We ain't seen him in, in months and years. And he comes in and he comes in here and gets a win against Eric Young. And now he could be a possible contender for a, a, a possible championship for the pre-show. Right? Man, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. What's going to happen next? Who knows, Michael? I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next for our next um, pre-show match. I, I have to see how Eric Young is doing. Um, we'll find out some more details. I mean, when he hit that at that head, man. Yeah, I mean, he... Yeah, Eric like, Young was trying to go for that crack of the skull of the steel chair because that can help you out pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I, he was going for that as well, and I'm getting word he, Eric Young is not going to return to the production uh, truck for a little bit here because he's getting medical attention here backstage uh, for Mayday Massacre. The Mayday Massacre doctors is uh, getting look getting him looked at there, but uh, I don't know who's in the truck right now. Who 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 is in the truck? Ralph. Ralphie? Yep, Ralph is taking over. Ralph, is it Ra Ralph? Oh, Ralph. Ralph from Ralph is in TWF. He's producing there. Right? How, you, how does he get a job? I don't, I don't get it. I, I'm confused. I but any, anyway, Michael, uh, but yeah, I'm shocked. Homicide got the win there. But what an incredible night this is going to be, ladies and gentlemen. Any final thoughts, Michael, before. We got to get out of here to go to the top of the hour for Wednesday Night Massacre Episode 2. Any final thoughts before we head to the main show right here in a few minutes? Uh, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready for the main show. We're on the road to MDM Underground. Get ready for the show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoy. Exactly, ladies and gentlemen. And I also getting word that the commentator for the main event will be Daryl Waltrip. Oh, boy. <laughs> so stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. But we got to get out of here. He's out of the poop by then. Exactly. He needs to get, it, get, get done with that. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is Michael Miner. I am Billy Bob, and we will see you at the top of the hour in a few minutes for Mayday Massacre, Wednesday Night Massacre, episode number two. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a fighter, strong.